Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am feeling so much better and it feels so good to be filming when I just feel good. So thank you everyone that sent me get well wishes. You guys are all so, so sweet. And like promised, if you follow me on Instagram, I promise a cheap and chic haul because I found some really good stuff at Target, fashion stuff at Target and I see things randomly every now and then, like the last things that I got, like the cute jacket from Who What Wear and those pants. That is pretty much the only collection that I've been super attracted to. These items that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today were all found on accident, and they're really good designer dupes. And you guys know I'm all about a good designer dupe. I'm all about mixing, you know, high end with low end. Majority of my wardrobe is always just very affordable, and I love mixing luxury with, you know, all of that. I don't want it to be just just known as like doing only luxury videos because I don't know I don't want to be known as a luxury youtuber and it is my career to know all aspects of fashion and to sort of teach people on how to put things together no matter what the price point is so I have three pairs of shoes that I want to share with you guys and a dress and anything that I can find for you guys online I will link it below but they are all definitely worth just running into your local target if you can't find it online or if I can't find it online just to see if they have it I feel like sometimes that might happen with some items and I'll also be inserting the photos of the items that I shared with you guys on Instagram on the screen. Also, if you happen to be new here, my name is Lisa and everyone calls me L for short. If you would like to join my YouTube fam, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell. You'll be notified every time that I upload a video. And I also have an Instagram and a Snapchat. My Instagram, I post a lot of outfit of the days and fashion-y things. So I'll put my name somewhere on the screen and I'll have everything in the information box below. So this first item is definitely going to be a little bit of a story time. On 4th of July, I wasn't feeling that great. I was feeling like 80% better but I still had like a lingering bit of a cold. So I ran to Target early in the morning before we had a party just to pick up a little bit of medicine. And from the corner of my eye, I saw something as I was passing by, you know, to get to the, you know, pharmacy section of Target. And it happened to be in the little kid section, you know, in the little girl section. And I just saw it in the corner of my eye because it was in the front like rack of whatever. And I was like, oh my God, that dress reminds me of something that I saw from... Elizabeth and James and I almost bought it when it went on sale but then I decided um, no and I was still hesitant and then now they're sold out so story of my life but it is definitely an item that I would get so much use out of so in those cases I would you know consider investing in a designer purchase that's how all my designer purchases are done I have to really consider if it's something that is going to be very useful to my collection no matter what it is but it's very rare when I invest in clothing so when I saw this I was like oh my god and I was just laughing in my head because it's in the kids section but I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second so it is this black maxi dress how cute is this okay it has adjustable straps here it's a little bit of a high neck and it has ruffle detailing here and ruffle detailing at the bottom the same ruffle detail up here and here and then it goes out into a little bit more of like a ruffle flared skirt i know it's so funny that it's from the kids section but you guys this is how it works for me you know i can find things at a thrift store i can find things in the kids section whatever i actually got it in an extra large and i just thought to myself you know it is a maxi dress for a kid but how dope would that be like an ankle length like maxi and it reminds me of that elizabeth and james dress that i regret so much for not not getting and i just thought this is kind of a little this is actually a little bit better because the elizabeth and james one that i did see was silk and i don't know if that's something that I would be able to wear in like really hot weather i feel like i'd feel gross but the silhouette and everything was just so gorgeous but i know for a fact that i could wear this pretty much all year i could wear this with a leather jacket and some boots in the fall time obviously sandals slides sneakers you name it you guys know i love mixing you know certain styles together and i just think it's so funny it's so funny the night that i wore this which i I'm sure I already inserted a picture. Maybe I'll put it here. I got so many compliments on this dress and it's at such a bougie place that Matt DJ's at. And people are so, they dress very, very, very well. And I had no shame telling people this is from Target. Like, well, and it's also from the kids section, you know? And they were just like, oh my God. So I love getting those kinds of reactions because I just feel like you could find fashion at all different price points and apparently in the kids section so it's definitely worth a try and i also did take into consideration the large actually i tried on both the large and the extra large the large actually fit my waist better but i liked the length of the extra large and i just thought this is for a really a really really tall kid but it is so cute and i love it and i just thought that was funny that i got it 
you know, at Target on a medicine run. So the night that I actually wore the dress was this past Saturday. I packed it in the bag to take with me for that night and I went to work and on my way to work I realized oh my gosh, I didn't pack heels. And I was on my way to work like at 7.45, 7.50 in the morning and I was like, where am I gonna go get a quick pair of heels or whatever for the evening because I had no time when I got off work to then, you know, go get shoes and then go with maps. It's very far from us, we have to leave early. And I got off work, you know, at a time where I literally have such a short time span to run, get dressed and go to his house. So I thought, would that be so weird if I just ran into Target again? And I did, and I found these. So these are something, or this style has been around for so long, and I feel like I never hopped on the bandwagon, cheap or expensive, I just, I don't know, I just never really found a pair that I cared for. Now, I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't have to buy these, I probably wouldn't have, but I'm really glad I did. It's one of those things where it's just like, just pull the trigger, they're more useful than you think. I've already worn them twice, but the night that I did wear these with the dress, they looked so cute. It's a three inch heel, a block heel, cheap. I mean, in my head, these are very disposable, so I don't really care if it's just for the summer or if, if it was just for even that night. I had no shoes to wear with it that night, and it looked really cute. Now, I was basically in head to toe Target minus the Chanel bag that I was wearing which is actually the rectangular mini that I sold to my sister and now I have been borrowing it back for a while because I'm thinking about reinvesting into a Chanel mini but I think I want the square so now I know for a fact I'm gonna get the square so that's something I'm gonna talk about in the next video that is coming up but I really, really like these. Obviously the Chanel bag, the whole Target, you know, head to toe look made everything look really expensive and pulled everything together. But I seriously got more compliments on that outfit than I have ever gotten that I've worn to that place. And Matt's been DJing there for three years, okay? So I just thought it was so funny. But I really like these and they look really cute with jeans. I tried these on with the jeans that I was wearing that day and um, it looked really cute with jeans. So I will be wearing these a lot with jeans and especially to places where I don't care if, you know, stuff spills on them, like it's a Target shoe. This is the first time I actually, well, minus the champion slides that I got recently. I think, I don't, I don't remember if I've ever gotten shoes from Target before, but this is pretty much the first time that I have and they have really, really good dupes. So loved these. So of course, as I was there looking for a pair of heels that would go with that dress, I noticed two pairs of sandals this first pair is actually the pair that I ended up wearing that day after I left Target. I put them on because I loved the way they looked with that outfit. And I took an Instagram picture. When I tagged that they were from Target, I got, you know, comments, oh my god, they're from Target. But I got, like, literally the most DMs on a pair of shoes that I've ever gotten in my life on Instagram. Basically, either people complimenting them or asking me if they're really from Target or if I made a mistake. They're really from Target, you guys. And they are definitely a designer dupe. Chanel and Miu Miu did so much on the pearl trend, especially on the shoes and I found these sorry if you see dust everywhere this is dust coming from the dust bag that I had these in and it's just overly fuzzy and I love 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 these now I never hopped on the you know you know dupes that they had at Zara or Steve Madden or anything because I don't know I, I liked the trend I thought it was really cute but I guess I don't know I, I it was something that I basically had to see on my foot before I actually jumped into it and I love them they did these perfectly and one of the main reasons is, is because the sole is black it's very hard to find or at least for me to find sandals that have a black top and a black sole it's usually always a tan sole which I'll show you with my next pair that I picked up but I loved love these and the pearl detailing is just so cute it's set in excuse my nails I have to get them done it's set in little gold you know grommets and they just did a really good job I got so many compliments on these that day that I wore these to work and yeah I just have so much fun telling people when things are from like from Target and you know well especially Target because you don't really expect that but yeah I just love them and I did the other day when I ran into forever to return something that I had purchased online I saw that they had a dupe too definitely get your hands on these because I think this is probably one of the best dupes that I have seen and they're super comfortable so I did my true to size just size 8 and yeah, very, very cute. Last but not least is another embellished pair of shoes. And this is another Valentino dupe. So this is now my third Valentino dupe, but my cheapest. And it's a pair of flip flops that are black with the gold studding detail. And this has a nude bottom, a tan bottom. So if me being picky, I wish the bottom was black, but who cares? And they were $19, okay? And I always, every time I go to put on my Javianas to go get my toes in, I'm always like, God, these are, they just look shitty. And I'm not, no offense if people live in Javianas, but they don't look as nice or as pulled together as 
you know, as if I were to like throw on my ash studded sandals, but those aren't the easiest things to put on and off to go get a pedicure, nor are they like the safest to keep my toes without, you know, getting messed up. So a flip flop is always the best. And I just thought these were really cute. And like I said, they were 19 bucks. I have a feeling I'm going to end up living in these. And I just think that they'll also look cute with like band tees and graphic tees and just some boyfriend jeans. Just a very simple, easy slide on sandal that's a little bit more feminine, but at the same time has an edge detail and since I've gotten my ash sandals those are probably the most comfortable sandals that I own so if I know we're gonna be out for a long period of time and I'm gonna be on my feet and I feel like wearing sandals those are the sandals that I wear but since I've gotten those I've always sort of wished I had a version that was just a quick easy slip-on version and here you go these are these are them and I know they come in a lighter it's like a metallic -y nude color I think they're really cute too so I'll see how much I wear these if I absolutely love them maybe I'll get the other pair or other color and yeah I just thought it was a really really cute easy a little bit more pulled together type of flip-flop look all right you guys so that is it for my really quick cheap and chic haul i really hope you guys liked this video i have a handbag video coming up very soon i definitely let's just say i plan on breaking my designer handbag ban i can't do it anymore for this year but this will i mean more than likely this will be the last designer handbag that i get for 2017 but never say never i don't know and i just feel like because there's two that popped up on the pre-loved luxury market that i feel like i need to get one or the other because i don't know when i'm gonna get come across especially one ever again so definitely stay tuned for that uh if you like those kinds of videos and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.